Hi everybody, for today's episode, I'm going to share with you some of the simple and creative ways I do to make my family feel truly special and loved during the holiday season. Because of the contagion, many of us are still unable to travel. Most of us won't be with our families, see our friends, and loved ones this year. Although we can't be with them physically this year, with a little effort and creativity, there are several ways that we can do to make sure our loved ones feel loved and remembered, especially during the holiday season. I hope you can learn a thing or two and may this video inspire you to do the same for your loved ones. Hi everybody, I'm Echo. I love celebrating Christmas and New Year's. The holidays for me is all about warmth, togetherness, love, and family. When I was younger, we didn't have much, but we always celebrated Christmas as a family. I left the family when I was 17 to pursue my college education in Naga City, which is about 50 miles away from home. I live independently and I was away from my family most days of the year except for Christmas and New Year's. When I started working in Manila, I visited my family in Bicol as often as I could. Besides Christmas and New Year's, I'd be home for fiesta and for most important occasions like my siblings' graduation. To be home for Christmas and New Year's and to be with my family is so important to me that two to three months before the holiday starts, my work leave of absence has been filed and approved. In fact, I made a point of making this one of my non-negotiables before accepting a job offer. I love buying gifts for my family. I would have savings specifically for my family's Christmas gifts. Back in the day when I had lower income, the story is my favorite place to shop and buy Christmas gifts for my family. The Visoria market is crowded and chaotic, but there's a lot of opportunities for a good bargain, so it's a great place for budget shopping. I would go alone or sometimes with friends, and I would always go a month before my scheduled trip back home. I love wrapping and delivering gifts to the family myself. 10-11 years ago, whenever I would go back to Biko, I traveled by a bus. A 12-hour bus ride, but it was way more affordable than a plane ticket. And at that time, it was what I could afford. I remember the time I bought a bike from a little brother. This was in Manila. I thought I got a great deal, but I didn't think about how was I going to bring it with me to Biko. I didn't want to ship it because it will cost more than the bicycle's price. So, I brought the bike with me to the bus station. I was carrying a huge luggage and a box, a big box filled with Christmas kits. I've always been an optimist. I didn't have a clue if, you know, the bus driver or the conductor would allow it in the bus compartment, but I had to try. Luckily, on that day, the bus conductor that assisted me was so nice and very accommodating and he managed to fit in the bicycle in the bus compartment together with my other stuff. I was so happy and relieved. I would usually take the 6 p.m. bus schedule so that I could sleep through the entire 12 hours bus ride. If you know me personally, then you'd know that I'm a master sleeper. Kind of like a cat, I can sleep anywhere, at any given time, any position, right on cue. Whenever I'm traveling, especially on a bus, before I pass out, I see to it that my valuables are safe and secure. I would also set my alarm so that I won't miss my stop. For some crazy reason, at the time, my alarm didn't work. I completely passed out and missed my stop. I had to alight immediately or else I would have gone even farther. Thankfully, I found a limo 
that agreed to take me home. I had to pay extra, but I had no choice. So lesson learned. What's more important is that I managed to get home safely. My long journey to home was always worth it, especially whenever I see my siblings' happy faces. As my income improved, so was the gifts I would get for my family. For my husband, to celebrate Christmas with family is also very important. Kenny is from Denmark and he's been living in Asia for 15 years. Before I met him, he would always go back to Denmark to celebrate Christmas with his family. So we made a pact that we'll celebrate Christmas with his family in Denmark and we'll celebrate New Year's with my family in the Philippines. You must be thinking we're crazy and you're probably right because travel and airport journey, especially during the holidays, can be a total chaos and challenging. But there's nothing we wouldn't do for the people we care about, right? during the holidays we would usually leave Hong Kong on the 17th of December to Denmark and then we would leave Denmark on the 27th of December back to Hong Kong for just one night just enough time for us to unpack and pack for the Philippines then on the 29th or 30th of December we would leave Hong Kong to Manila and to Legaspi to celebrate New Year's with our family Normally, our luggage would be filled with pasalubong and gifts from Hong Kong and Denmark. Here's my brother trying a popular Danish candy called licorice. Everybody try. Uh -huh. That's Danish candy. I know, you like it? Let's try. You like it? Yeah. Mama likes it. Mama likes it. Mommy, I don't know what I no one from my family likes the candy. Well, except for my mama. But my family loves the Danish hot dog. <laughs> We usually bring the buns, sausages, and all the other ingredients all the way from Denmark. When we arrive in Bicol, the first order of business is to make the Danish hot dogs to prevent the sausages from spoiling. There are many ways you can show your love and affection to your family even when you're apart, especially during the holidays. When Kenny and I made a pact, I had to make sure that my family would still receive and open presents on Christmas Eve, even though we're miles away. On normal occasion, I'd see to it that I'm home before Christmas, sometime around October or November. During my visit, I'd go shopping alone and no family is allowed to go to the second floor while I wrap the gifts. The Christmas presents will then be ready by the time I leave and go back to Hong Kong. The gifts will be on display by the Christmas tree and will only be distributed and open on Christmas Eve. Last year, I couldn't be home before Christmas. I figured shopping online and having it delivered to my sister's work address would be a good alternative. I then asked my family to send me their Christmas wish list. My sister was in charge with taking the correct clothes and shoes measurements. My sister Mayan also took care of the wrapping of gifts for the family. Ordering gifts online, especially for a big family such as mine, can be a little tricky. That is why I like to make a summer list like this. To keep track of my shopping list, and this also helps me keep track of my budget. 
The same summary list also helps my sister identify which item is for who. I like to use Excel when making a list because it's simple and easy. 2020 has really been tough for everyone. Because of the contagion, many of us can't travel yet and won't be with our loved ones this holiday season. Same for me and Kenny. This year, we won't be celebrating Christmas and New Year's with our families. I haven't seen them for almost a year now and this is by far the longest time I haven't been home in Beagle. I miss my family so much and I've been thinking about them constantly. So last September, we sent them a Bali client package. We fill the box with a bunch of stuff, food, clothes, gadgets, and gifts for the family. My family received the care package a month later. Sending a care package is another way to make your loved ones feel truly special not only for the holidays, but even without any occasion. I have another video about care package ideas for friends and family and how to build a personalized gift box to create a truly personal and thoughtful care package for the holidays for any occasion. So stay tuned for next week's episode. For this year, I already asked my family to send me their Christmas wish list as early as October. I wanted to cash the 1111 and a Black Friday sale online hoping I could get a better deal. Of course, as per usual, I made my tracker list. It's very hard to get anything delivered where my family lives because it's in a remote area in Bicol. So I had to use my sister's work address for the delivery. Prior to November 11, I already have all the items I wanted to buy added to my shopping cart. Then, 11.11 came, and when I hit the checkout button, I noticed an additional 5,000 delivery charge. This might be a small amount for some, but not for me. <laughs> for me, this amount can already be used to buy two sacks of rice that my family can consume for two months. So then I decided not to push through with buying gifts online. As much as I love Christmas shopping and picking gifts for my family, Kenny and I agreed that for this year, given the circumstances, it's just best to send cash to the family so they can do the holiday shopping and have a nice family lunch out and we'll just set a budget per person so that they can decide what to get for a Christmas present for themselves. For next year's Christmas, hopefully when things are finally back to normal, I would love to take my family on a Christmas trip. What about you? How do you make a loved one feel special during the holidays? Do you prefer celebrating Christmas or New Year's? Leave me a comment below. As always, I would love to hear from you. COVID-19 made it difficult for us to be with our loved ones this year. But let's not forget that we're also fortunate to live in a world of technology which enables us to keep in touch with our loved ones though we are miles apart. Wherever you may be, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and hopefully a much better year ahead. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more videos about love and family, tips and tricks, recipes, and travel videos, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself updated with my upcoming videos. That's it you guys. Thank you for watching. Keep safe, and stay healthy, and always keep a positive mind. I'll see you on Wednesday, same time, same place. Have a great day!